Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails in the Sky Part 11! The double digits, well, I guess we had double digits last video, but you know. The true double symmetrical digits, or whatever. Um, last video, we tried to make it to Bose, but then the game crashed about halfway there. So then we tried to make it to Bose again, and we were mostly successful. Um, we got our ass kicked by some, some scorpions that I will maybe one day go back and fight. Who knows? Probably not. Probably will. You know, we may not be able to complete the... Well, I don't know. I think if the quest expires, those enemies disappear. I don't know. But, uh... I did try and just gonna tell a little story. I tried... This, this chick just gets blocked. Her day is completely ruined by Estelle. What a bitch. Um, I've mentioned a few times that, like, you know, the game doesn't respect, um... Like my mouse cursor and then it'll like fly over to the second monitor as you can kind of see when I move it over. Well, you can't see it moving to the second monitor but you can see the cursor disappearing when I move it to the left here. And I tried to fix that by disabling boardless window and then every time I would alt tab and alt back tab, alt -tab back in the game crashed so we're just gonna have to live with that and hope we don't fuck up the recording ever again. No promises though. Or at least if we do fuck it up that I noticed. Oh Shara you've arrived a lot sooner than I expected. I appreciate you coming all the way from Roland. It's been a while, hasn't it, L Lugran? Lugran? I'm gonna say Lugran. Oh, that sounds better than Lugran. Um... Yes, I received a call from Ina not that long ago. So that means these two kids with you are Cassie's children? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Estelle Bright. And I'm Joshua Bright. Well, technically, you're Joshua whatever, because you're not a real member of the family. I doubt he was officially adopted, per se, you know. Um, I'm Lugrand, and I oversee the Bose branch. Your father and I go way back. Please, just call me Lugrand. I, I said I was going to call him something different, and then I started Lugrand. Whatever, I'll just make up whatever I'm going to call him. I'll switch between every possible pronunciation. Um, yeah, about that. The Royal Army is still continuing in search. However, with the Army's current restriction of information, no public updates on the situation have been made. Not only is the general public been kept in the dark, but the guild hasn't heard a word either. Really? Why not? Aren't the army and the guild supposed to be cooperating together? Well, the way that's the way it is on the surface, anyway. And actually, there's a lot of opposition. It's pretty much what you're saying is that it's a bunch of juridis jurisdictional disputes, right? Yeah, I hate to admit it. And additional General Morgan has gotten involved. General Morgan. Great, now it looks like things are going to be a real pain. Uh, who the hell is that? He's famous for repelling the Imperial Army's invasion ten years ago. You should have read about him in the history books. Huh, amazing, amazingly enough, I don't recall the name. It's not that surprising that Estelle doesn't know things. From what I heard, he's not the biggest fan of the Bracer Guild. Hates Bracers, in fact. Seems he even makes it a point to routinely assert that there's no need for a Bracer Guild. Sounds like a real whack job to me. So what you're saying is that we're not getting any information because of this general? I mean, that's not really important at the moment. Okay, so we can't go into the regions to investigate things. Well, we just came all the way here from Roland. I ain't going back. I ain't walking all the way over here. I had to walk over here twice. I'm not doing it again. Um, you're talking like a crazy person, Estelle. Keep your cool, Bracer, there are other ways, such as the request we just received from the mayor concerning the incident. She has asked that we conduct an investigation from the guild side, separate from the army. Well, that's encouraging news. If it's an official request from the mayor, it would be a great pretext for us to conduct our own investigation. I see, well, isn't this perfect timing? Lugrun will accept this mayor's request. Yeah, we're junior Bracers. So to speak, our members and training registered at various branches. In short, the performance is my- Yeah, we know. Okay? So what you're saying is that we have to change our registration if we want to accept jobs here? What? That seems like needless, like, busy work or paperwork or whatever. Is that going to, like, clear all of our old jobs off? Well, it looks like everything is in order. Junior Brazers are still in Joshua. At this day, at uh, 3 320, right? Yeah, 320, your registration for the Bose branch has been approved. That means you are now members of the Bose branch. 
uh, you can do any job without being registered to a particular branch. But on the flip side, your duties and responsibilities increase as well. Understood. So we're pretty much still newbies. Um, yes, you can't even beat some fucking flying bugs. Y'all are super newbies. Granted, Shara couldn't either, so, you know. I don't know if she can necessarily say too much about being a senior bracer. What kind of, what kind of quest do we got here? So we got the Manster. A uh, monster behind the village. I don't know where that village is. Um, I'm blind right now. Oh, I'm in a bind right now. Uh, a regular use for practice. Please bring tender poultry. I don't know if we have any of that. And that's the king scorpion that kicked our ass. That Well, we lost all our CP, so... I don't, I don't know if we can really, uh, really fight that thing. So wait, where the hell is the village? I don't even see it. I mean, there's a mine. I don't see Ravenue Village around here. I, don't even, I wouldn't even know where to go. Where, like, where does it say to go? Does it say go to the village? Elder. Was, Gwen. So the restaurant. We could maybe see if we have the chicken. Chicken. Here's Anteros. Is what we're looking for? You don't look like a Gwen. Are you a Gwen? Um, are you a Gwen? Do you have any questions regarding the wine? I don't think you can the wine. Are you a Gwen? I mean, maybe, maybe you are a Gwen. No, you're not a Gwen. Uh, is this a restaurant? I'm the manager at Lecta, and I uh, do stuff. Best quality ingredients and servers, basically shit we can't afford. It certainly does look like a nice place. Yeah, he's a bit pushy, don't you think? When I see this place, the first thought is cha-ching. We go broke if we ate here. Well, we're already broke, so... It would require the bounty from 30 large monsters at a minimum. Um... Okay. Hello, Gwen. Can we... Okay, apparently you can just bust into the fucking kitchen. I mean, here you are. I'm trying to work on my flavors, too. I even stayed in the kitchen all night to perfect a new soup recipe. I have taken your... Okay, I guess you have to actually gather the chicken first and then give it to her. But I don't know how to get the chicken, so... Um... What we need to be doing is going to... Various shops... I guess the green one? Because they said there's no weapons sold in the actual big market, so that's a bar. Um, can we go to like a different area of the town? This is not a different area of the town. I would really like some new weapons, if possible. Um, let's also save it the game. After it crashed in the last video, I'm a little paranoid. Um, are you... A shop that sells weapons. Yes! Give me all of your weapons. Please. Okay, they do have new stuff. Oh god, this shit's expensive. And we could trade in some of our blank, whatever those are, color. So it gives. Oh man, it's a pretty big boost. And then. There is. How much? So they guess her 11 extra, and then hers gives her more than 11. Well, you know what they say, best defense is a good offense. So, like, let's say if we wanted to, like, trade in, like, 50. How much would that get us? It gives us 600. Okay, let's say if we wanted to trade in, like, 75. Yeah, the Mirage Seaf. So that gives us 17, and what do we need? We need... I forgot which one we bought. Yeah, we didn't buy Blitz. So we still need like 300 more. So we'll do... Let's make it an even 20. And then do like 14. To make it an even hundo of those. I mean, should we buy... Oh, uh, a jacket would be nice too. But I'm gonna go for the offensive items first. This is maybe a bad idea. Who knows? I'm just of the opinion 
that doing mo damage is always for the best. I guess we could sell our old stuff potentially. Um. Okay, it does not sell very much. Well, I guess our, our upgraded equipment sells for a decent amount. We maybe could get one whole. Oh, we should have sold two at a time there. Um. Is this. Let's see, how many chicken things we have? We have one tender poultry. We have one poultry. That's not a lot. Okay, we'll sell. I guess we'll trade in our earth seeds. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll give it to Estelle since we basically decided to make her the tankiest girl alive. And she does have the taunt ability now, so. Wait, yeah, that's the right thing. Because a leather jacket is, of course, gives you significantly more defense than an armored vest or whatever it was called. There's the Orbal Factory. I don't think we have enough seeds to really do anything. Do you sell? Do you sell? None of this stuff's really new. Or wait, the mind is new. That gives extra arts. Art, defense, agility, like... I wish you would just tell me what, what, what a move they come with. You know? So let's see, we could... we can get Joshua another slot. Shara, yeah, Shara's slots are really expensive. But then we can't afford anything with them. I guess until we get more, we can just give them like something. Because just equipping something gives you a. Uh, let's see, enemies from a distance. Uh, okay. I don't. That doesn't really seem to affect his stats though, but. I don't know what to see. Maybe enemies won't be quite so transparent on the overworld? Is that what it's saying? What are we supposed to be doing again? I don't even remember. So here's the market. Oh, hey! It's a uh, chickadee. Wow, look at all the stuff they're selling here! I'm getting a kink in my neck just turning my head to try and take it all in! She's so into surroundings, it's like she can't even hear you. <laughs> this is like food shit, right? My medicine can take care of almost any ailment. The sheer amount of stuff for sale is pretty overwhelming. Well, considering we have no money, it's probably not for the best for us to look around. So, so wait. Oh, you were supposed to go to the mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the mayor. I was like, what the hell are we supposed to be doing here? The international port? I guess we go down to the south. If I was a mayor, where would I be? New Ansel Path. That doesn't sound right. Let's see. Are you the mayor? When I said it was a girl. Um are you the mayor? That's not what I'm mad about. The thing I'm mad about is the fact that he doesn't have the decency to say one word before he leaves. I'm assuming you're not the mayor. Are you the mayor? Are you the mayor? Okay. So apparently the family's father, or, or you know, I guess those old people's son, has run away to the mines to work or what nonsense. Where in the hell is the mayor? And you think they would mark it? Maybe it's this? This seems mayor. Ah, there you go. Damn, it's a, it's a nice fucking place. Look at that crazy expensive looking chandelier. Calm down, Estelle. Um, is the mayor's place alright? Now I just wonder if she's home. Oh, do we have visitors? Oh, please, oh god, has broke everything in the world. Yeah. I'll put the 
tiny bit too much sugar in my coffee. Like, put, I put too much sugar and not enough creamer. Um, so it's got a, you know, an awkward taste. Uh, we're at the Bracer Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild to come here to inquire about the details. Well, I've heard from the mayor that he would be expecting you. However, I'm sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. She's going to worship at the chapel. Uh, when do you expect her back? Well, let me see. Um, any moment. Does that mean she'll walk through the door as soon as we try and leave? Oh, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it, dripping gemstones from every four? Feathers? Gemstones from every what? Um, how colorful, but quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? She looks splendid, or should I say, beautifully mature. Um, she could find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Huh? Uh, never mind, I was just thinking out loud. Has a maid accompanying her. To the chapel. If I was a chapel, where would I be? I would be in purple. Dude, there's like fucking three people in here. What kind of crowd is this shit? Um, and you are? Still, that wasn't very polite. My apologies. We're at the Bracer Guild. Um, we're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lilia. Let's see to the mayor's daily needs. You can serve hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where is the mayor if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of expecting the situation in the market. She took all that for telling me to pray for her, too. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> um. She was, uh, doesn't she sound interesting? There's no doubt she's a capable person, but she does have a bit of unrestrained aspect. A bit? She sounds fucking crazy. Don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I'm gonna let her know you're there. Um, I think we're just gonna go barge and look for her in the market. Plus, it's a good way to naturally introduce you to the market via the story, so... Let's make our ways over to the Bose Market, then. Cool. Now let's go fight monsters with us in our party. Or with her in our party. Even though she's not a... She'd be like an escort, I assume. The way we had to, like, escort the photographer, dude. Unless she's some type of battle maid. Oh, man. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Wait, that's the mayor? She's like 12. Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up. Okay, see, I was assuming, I thought it was weird when the butlers had the line about it being, about get finding the right man, because I assumed it was like an old lady. You know, and I was like, well, I mean, you know, if she makes it that far and doesn't want to marry, then she's probably not going to. But I guess it's a, it's a child. But, but ma'am, we're just thinking about how to increase the sales for the Bose market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you two. I almost clicked off the screen. I am, I am kicking it off the screen, but I didn't mess up the screen recording at least. Um, be a different story, but making undue profits and necessities to lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. Alright. Well, do as you say. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between the people. Uh, sure, I mean, that's the most idealistic way to look at it. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants of those. Yeah, but then they won't become filthy, stinking rich. How else are you supposed to become rich if you don't exploit the fucking common people? Come on now. Lila, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Also, why the hell is a little girl mayor? You know, I mean... Mayors, mayorships typically aren't an inherited position. Could you be the bracers I requested? Yeah, that's us, but uh... So does that mean you're the... Uh, forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. <clears throat> I am the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. She owns the market? Well, that explains how she's got such a nice house. 
Are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good, too. I mean, if she owns the market, doesn't she own basically own the town? I guess that's why she's the mayor. <laughs> you know? Because when you own half the fucking town, it may as well just be an inherited position. You're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the Bose Market, the political foundation which he set up. I mean, is it really a political foundation when it's like, I own this town, you have to vote for me? <clears throat> um, that'd be fine. Well, what would you like, uh, what would I, what, I can't read today. Or ever. I, don't, I always do that, where, like, whenever I mess up, and I'll say, oh, I can't read today, but I can never read. I just, I, it, my brain turns off when I, as soon as I hit the recording thing. Um, in the opinion that braces would bring about the much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. We're not fighting a war, we're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Good point. She's got a good head on her shoulders. Eh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the oral army continues to keep the Bose airs place, then no fly cell business is going to suffer. And just when business had been brooming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration, too. Um, so what do you think? Will you accept my request and your, for your help in this matter? Well, I mean... There's no reason not to. We were going to do it anyway, so... Show the army who's running the show? Excluding Bracers, huh? That must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked Bracers from the beginning. So, uh, you know who this general is, then, Mayor Maybell? He was a friend of my late father's, tentatively speaking. We had a passing acquaintance with another. So I might just be able to do something for you. Meaning... Lila. Yes, madam? <clears throat> I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. Uh, what's the letter for? To inform him of my request uh, for information about the incident as an official responsible for the region. I think it should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a pretty safe bet as long as you hide your identities. You would probably be best serve us saying that you're a messenger for the mayor. Well, hey, lying. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. We're not lying, we're just not telling him the truth. <laughs> Uh, since it's time citizen, yeah, we should be practical. I guess you're right. By the way, uh, where do we need to go to meet him? The Hakan Fort on the international border to the north of Bose. Or Bose. I still haven't decided if I'm, I guess I'm, I'm guessing I'm just gonna call it Bose. But also occasionally Bose. Because, you know, you gotta, I already made the, the Final Fantasy X joke, but, you know, pray at the temple in Bose. Which is actually, it's Jose, but whatever. That, that, that kills my joke, though. Um, and really, it's not it's not Jose. It's Jose! <laughs> it's at the end of the Ison Road to the north of the East Bowes Highway. <clears throat> so what I think we'll do is... I don't really want to end the video yet, though. Hmm. I guess we'll get on the trail and maybe fight a couple monsters and then end the video. Because what I think we'll do is do a bit of grinding off screen. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go backwards. So we're gonna go back towards our stuff. What, what were our quests again? We were supposed to trail behind Ravenue Village. I don't know where the village is. It's not on the map. I mean, the mine's over here, so maybe it's this? Maybe, like, this is the village right here, and this is the mine? Yeah, because the, the mine for here is a triangle as well. And the, these are, yes, yeah, so these are settlements. Or, like, resty places, I guess. Because the Vert Verte Bridge had a rest point. I guess this is probably the village right there that's got a rest point, so... We probably won't do that off screen. We'll do that on screen if possible, maybe.
who knows but well we'll start we'll start making our way to the con so we want to go up soon get on the road the road to Viridian Cite. Hello. Hold it right there. The Hakan Gate is currently not preventing civilian passage to the checkpoint. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed past this point. Uh, sorry to make you waste your breath, but we are authorized to be here. This is Mayor Maybells. The mayor has requested that we come and speak with General Morgan about the status of the search. As you can see, this document is official. But if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you'll be hating life later. Um, I guess there's nothing we can do but let you through. Are you serious about this? Don't you know Mayor Mabel is the one in charge of the entire region? You can't just ignore that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, never uh, never forget that we share a border with the Empire. Yeah, yeah, we got it already. Damn, that's actually what I was literally going to say. Was <laughs> fucking Estelle said it before I could say it. So are there like I mean I would assume there's not monsters, okay? JK? Apparently the army's not very good at their job. <laughs> you know. Also, what in the fuck is this thing? It's like a bird with an eggshell on its head. What? It's a Ramira. Oh, look at the damage. We have done it. We have unlocked our full potential. We actually do damage now. Oh, we can go kill the monster then. If we're doing this much more damage, we could probably take out Mr. Scorpion and friends. Well, one thing equipping that is it did give Joshua a much higher max DP, which is cool. So, we'll try and fight the monster one more time. Granted, I really probably should grind up some CP first. Oh, yeah, they appear as little red dots on our map now. When it comes to the, a, uh... That thing we equipped. So now we can just kind of like auto attack these guys, basically. Well, yeah, just just do some regular attack. At least we'll get enough CP that we can basically cast a, a super move or whatever. Did we equip our jacket on Estelle? I think we did. Oh, this dude's gonna heal, isn't he? I know he divided. Forgot they could do that. I don't know if we actually got that shown off on screen or not, but these guys can divide. They have their HP when they do it. But they can also, like, they they heal off of their attacks, so... Piece of cake. I wonder if the d divided monsters give full XP or not. But yeah, oh yeah, and there's that thing again. I think it's back on... Yeah, you know, being able to see them as little red dots is so nice, because basically I typically just look at the minimap. Like, because with the, the shifting camera angles and everything, or like having to constantly adjust the camera angles, it like, so I just find it's easier to just look at the minimap sometimes. Also, where the hell is this monster at? I remember it being kind of towards the beginning of the road, but... Is it over here? I think it's like maybe like right around this area. Yeah. It was, it was on the first screen, I remember that much. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's save and go attempt the battle of the ages. Well, all right, that's the video, guys. What the fuck? I don't understand. I know they take physical damage. Okay. Alright. Uh, we probably should have just used magic from the start. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do one real attempt. Uh...
so she's gonna get to go first. So what do we use? Wind on these guys? Yeah. Okay, well that's good. You didn't get to actually to attack us. And then it's probably best to just use your soul blur since it seems to be not really affected by elemental resistances. Ouch. Okay. Um. Let's. Uh, I mean, she. If anyone can take it, it's her. God, that still doesn't do that much damage. Okay, that's a little more like it. Another thing that's good about having them attack one target is that sometimes, like in that situation, like he's close enough that he could have. Oh my god, that's so much damage. But he couldn't actually get fit in because he's so big. Okay, um. Feel better if it wasn't you doing that. And then, will you be able to heal yourself? That's going to be very important. You will. So that means you will take at least two hits. And that killed. Well, depending on. Granted, she only took so much because one of those is a crit. But I still don't think she'll be able to take two hits. Oh, the miss. Every once in a while, someone else gets fucked instead of us. Oh my god, the Dimaggio. Um. Oh fuck, we don't have any healing items. I didn't realize you'd use them all. Um. She's not gonna be able to get it off anywhere near in time. Uh, I mean, that's not gonna do any damage. May as well, at the very least, boost their strength. Maybe if it misses? No, that was... Not really a realistic, uh... Thing to hope for. Oh my god, the Dimaggio. Man, he almost had his sever up too. That would have been good. Uh, we can definitely win this. Not having any healing items there really sucked. I mean, we can't win this fight this time, but I'm going to restart is what I mean. Um, we'll just go ahead and run and reload. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I will maybe... I don't know, we might fight monsters to get to level 11, maybe get enough, um, I don't know. Or I may just try and fight this monster again until we win, but, because I think that, yeah, yeah, you got the general idea of how the fight goes, so you don't necessarily have to show it on screen, but, yeah, I'm xg 87 stay tuned for the next part, and, well, because another thing, just for a reason, it, I might just grind up to get enough CP that we can instantly use our specials. Because I think if we can just like kill two of them right off the bat, or close to kill two of them right off the bat, or fairly early on, we'll be fine. So I might not actually show us killing this on screen, and just go ahead and do that, turn in the quest, get the money, and then put that towards buying another suit of armor. But yeah, as I was saying, next 87 save it for the next part, and bye guys!